or it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to look at the medial and lateral glide of the tibia on the femur. And that, that's used for accessory motions. It doesn't increase flexion or extension per se. It just has to be an accessory motion that, that is necessary for normal movement. The way we test it is we come through it, we can do a lateral glide where basically I take my hand on the, lateral, the distal part of the femur. I stabilize it. The other hand is on the bottom part on the tibia. And we're going to do a translation. So we come into this way, come in this way, this way. Arm should be out, so my forces are going across. And I go in there, take up the slack, and do a little bit of a spring. So you could, it'll go spring into a lateral glide. Then we can switch our hands. We go more the fibula or the lateral part of the tibia. This part is on the femur. The same idea, arms are out. We push across, we take up the slack. And Tyler's, if you look, his knee moves very well. But you have somebody who has limitations of motion, you'll have a block. And that happens sometimes with a misstep. We call it like a positional deficit, where the joint isn't quite moving normally within its, um, in its framework. And we think of a slider on a back door. It slides, but if you hit into it, it kind of judders. So the idea is we take it, help put it in its best position for movement. All right, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.